everyone. Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on our first of our Christmas scrappy quilt. We had a very much a scrappy adventure for 2018 here in the quilt shop and we're very happy that lots of you have joined us along the way. If you would like to watch how this came together, uh, I'm, I'm sure Pop will put a link down below in the show more and you can click and see and it's a free pattern. It's a 22 inch by 22 inch block and I made it in a very scrappy um, triple Irish chain fashion with Christmas colors. Okay, and I try to keep consistent where the red was, the red and white and, and so on and so forth. And there's some textured whites and there's some solid whites and there's mixes of dark reds and dark greens and so on and so forth. We're just gonna resume here. And I chose to do an edge to edge over it completely, all the way from the white border to the white border, the white backing and poly uh, batting for the center of it. It's about 72 by 72 with the two little borders on there. And I'm cho I have chosen the uh, Silver Bells stitch out because I like the way it makes, you know, it makes like it's an ornament, a fun little unique sort of ornament as you're kind of looking around it too. And it looks like bells. And of course I chose a cool gray thread so it's going to look like Silver Bells on the white. Okay. So I really like it, I kind of blew it up a little bit just because I really wanted to be a nice fluffy, comfy quilt. It's poly, you have about the space of a hand sort of thing to go around or whatever, you know. It has, it has its, um, its, its uh, purposes, right? So, and I think for this one, this can hopefully be loved and washed and taken out every year, whoever it ends up getting to. So, been a very fun adventure along the way. Some of these fabrics were donated I got a little pinch there. And some of just are just from my Christmas collection. So this was the first. We've done two more since. The second one was a four patch with feature fabric of a cardinal. Check that video out as well. Um, we had lots of fun. These are all live streams. We put this together. We've sat, we've chatted, we've got to know each other. And you know, if you don't want to chat, you can always just send messages and pictures of what you're working on to the, the quilt shop itself, you know, info at we sew it, we, W-E-S-E-W-I-T dot C-A. And we'll happy to see what you got working on. It's very fun, yeah, it's, it's gonna do four times across and four, uh, four rows. It's on the second row right now and then we just have the rest to finish off. But I just wanted to show you because you can see most of it. And then the beautiful white back with the silver thread. It's looking lovelies. And the last one we just finished off uh, is this one over here. It's called uh, Garden Cascade. Well, it's not a garden. I did it in Christmas fabrics. And it's also a free pattern. Great way to bust your scraps. You know, if you, have, you realize you have a lot of Christmas stuff, then, you know, start making stuff. You know, you don't need necessarily always Christmas reds, but you can bring in reds, plain reds, plain greens, plain blues, plain, you know, plain whites, and that helps bring all the things together. I'm just going to start making another little silver bell there. It's very pretty. Silver bells. Kind of got to sing it as you're going along. Silver bells. And I like the mix of whites, you know? The mix of the pattern, the paisley, the dots, the trees, the other flowers. You know, as this what came together in a very scrappy fashion, right? And this beautiful burgundy with the green presence is so adorable. And that's just a bit of a textured blue. It's got like a little, I don't know, a leaf to it or something. It looks like it. Or maybe even a flower, you know, petal sort of thing. But it's just enough to help bring it all together, especially when you're working with those colors, right? And if you didn't like the blue and you just want red and green and white, then there you can just do like a double iris chain or double up the reds and then the greens and then have another white in the white, you know, that sort of thing. You can, there's lots, lots of ideas. And I thought this pattern would be kind of easy, not maybe easy to do, but maybe a little bit easier to do on uh, your domestic machine because you can kind of concentrate on that circle or you use a template to trace out your circles and you can work from there. But it's very nice, a little loop, make another silver bell or an ornament. 
or like a circle of a snowball or something like that, you know. This has that little depth of um, defining it as a silver bell with that little, the little in cup here of the, the design, so. Very lovely. Very pretty green cardinal fabric. And then reindeer fabric. And a cute little red snowflake. And I think, you know, when you put it all together, hi Sophie. When you put it all together, it looks, it looks amazing. It really does. <laughs> Hello, she wants her time. <laughs> Hello, up here, over here. There we go, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Yes, had a lot of fun putting all these together. This was um, uh, quilt 14, yeah, and then the other one was 15 and 16 throughout the whole year of our live streams. So if you want to check them out, that would be awesome. Lots of good fun. And we always try to share free patterns so you can adapt it to something you have at home. Like if you just wanted to make a pillow or just try a sample of an, a triple iris chain, but this, this, this one block ends up being 22 by 22, so that's a great pillow size. Or even like a wall hanging size or a top of a table runner, you know, that sort of thing. Or, you know, a little entrance table, it can flop over it sort of thing. This could be the centerpiece or, you know, that would be the centerpiece. So it's a very beautiful block. And I like that it was on such a big scale too. You know, I did nine of them and I got a nice, you know, 72 by 72 quilt in the end. So, did nine, right? <laughs> They're big. <laughs> well, we had a lot of fun, that's for sure. Just gonna let it finish it stitching out there. Hi, Sophie. Demanding a lot of attention today, the dog. <laughs> Jump up. There you go. <laughs> I know, you want hugs, don't you? Okay, I give a hug. <laughs> Oh, animals are cute, aren't they? <laughs> so we are gonna finish up the other two uh, Christmas quilts on the long arm before New Year's, so stay tuned. Uh, um, Cardinal and four patch will be next Wednesday, okay? And I think we were gonna keep that one so far. I mean, I'm always a giver. <laughs> I keep it until I find someone that I can give it to and then it goes off to them. So I'm, it's just the way we are. Hi, Sophie. <laughs> oh, extra little threads there. But just goes to show you with a bunch of scraps, that's what you can come up with. Something pretty, right? Just two and a half inch squares, cut them into strips, and then just sewed them, cut them and sewed them. So this wasn't any more complicated than that. It was very, very easy pattern. Great one to start off with. Uh, if you want to make a bag, make two of them and make it as a bag, you know? You can quilt it, something to practice on your domestic machine quilting. You could always just stitch in the ditch. Or you can do the, you know, uh, orange peel, scoop from corner to corner. Corner, I've done that quite a few times here. It's very fun. And it looks beautiful on the end, and especially in the stitch out at the back. This should be almost done. And done. There you go. Thanks, Walt, well, for doing such an amazing job. I appreciate it. <laughs> and I'm probably just going to bind it in uh, white as well. So I think I'll just keep it that way. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching, liking, and subscribing. We greatly appreciate it here at the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. And, uh, you know, thank you. Thank you for everything. It's been a fantastic year. 
We've, uh, we've grown leaps and bounds, and we couldn't be more happier. Have a fantastic Wednesday, and thank you very much for watching. Okay, bye-bye.